where Hawaiian Gardens held its first Memorial Day program this past May. The program took place near the flagpole where a new Veterans Memorial will soon be constructed. Here is a look at that program. If tomorrow all the things were gone, I'd work for all my life. And I had to start all again with just my family by my side. I think my lucky stars to be living here today. Cause the sand flags bear for freedom and they can't that away. Sing it with me. I'm proud to be an American, for at least I know I'm free. I won't forget the ones who died and gave their right to me. And I gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today. Cause there ain't no doubt about it. God bless the USA. We welcome you to our, our first uh, of what we hope will be many Memorial Day programs here in, held in the city. Uh, we've always had a, a Veterans Day program, and of course, uh, you know, to the, what's unfortunately happened on September 11th, we added a Patriot Day program, but this is one part that we were lacking, and we thought uh, we should add it to our events. And, uh, I, th I think it's a good one to have because, you know, it does honor, honor soldiers who are killed in action. As Veterans Day honors all the soldiers who served, uh, Memorial Day is for all, everyone who was killed. And it, I think it's, it's right that we uh, recognize and, and thank them in some way for their service. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed At the twilight's last gleaming Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we are here today to honor all those who have given the ultimate sacrifice their lives while serving our country through the many wars down through the centuries. We cannot fathom the deep commitment and love these fallen comrades had for our country. For a growing percentage of the American people, Memorial Day has come to mean a three-day weekend or a major shopping day. Families might still gather for picnics, but for them, the patriotic core and the spirit of remembrance is absent. Remembering these young Americans whose lives were cut short and all of our fallen heroes once a year is simply not enough. The widows, the widowers, fathers, the mothers, brothers, sisters, the children, we remember them every day. Whether it's that empty seat at the dinner table the neighbor that is no longer there, a gathering at Thanksgiving that has one less family member present, the voice of a loved one that's uh, heard only as a distant memory. These are all constant reminders of those that are gone. As fellow Americans, surely we grieve their loss, but we also remember that there are millions who enjoy time with their families because of the sacrifices these folks have made. These fallen heroes include people from all religions, all ethnic groups, cultures, backgrounds, and that their ultimate devotion all became one as all gave their lives for our great nation. As previously being mentioned, they include 10 sons of ours from this community. And like everyone joining us, it, it is my hope that today and every day we together continue to remember those who died for our nation and, and our city families who lost their loved ones. Oh God, we ask you, will strengthen and protect all our members of the armed forces of the United States of America. In the day of battle, may they be courageous and strong, resourceful and capable, resolute and victorious. In the time of peace, may they strive with dignity and honor, 
as effective emissaries of goodwill for this nation. We hope you will take some time to remember the courageous men and women who have given their lives to protect our freedoms and seek opportunities to help their families in any way you are able. Thank you.